to test it out and it works. Yeah! Woo! Yeah, it has enough juice to actually operate this air pump. Welcome back to EducateTube.com. My name is Sipski, your host. Today I'll be showing you how to convert this Motomaster Spotlight, which I bought for on sale for uh, 15 bucks, uh, and convert it into a rechargeable uh, device. Okay, so to charge up your smartphone or any device that requires a, you know, that has a car plug in it, I'll show you how to do that. Now, the reason I choose this device because when I was look at looking inside um, the battery in it and I realize that it, it's, it comes with a 27 watt hour of battery okay it's a 6 volt uh, 4.5 amp hour which is equivalent to 27 uh, watts hour of power it's a very it is also because it, what it's used for is a very bright uh, spotlight it's 500 uh, lumen, lumens of brightness but other than using it for that it can also use as a backup power as you notice, I took it apart. <clears throat> Here is a battery. It's actually in a um, rechargeable uh, battery. It's a 6 volt, you can see here. Um, 4.5 amp hour, so it's equivalent to 27 watt hour of power. I'm just experimenting right now. I'm going to show you actually how to hook it up properly. And notice here it's connected to a, um, a socket adapter with a universal card charger that has a USB and then it's wired to my cell phone as you notice now my cell phone is being charged it initially started at 40 percent now it's 70 in about 40 minutes so if you think about it about one hour can charge between 40 to 15 percent so if you're you know for ordinary bad uh, smartphone it probably can charge a smartphone from like say 20 30 percent all the way to 100 percent in about two hours okay so a very good quick charger. So let's get started. I'm going to show you how to uh, hook it up and uh, make a proper uh, rechargeable spotlight. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is remove all these screws. There's actually one, two, uh, three, four, five. You just have to look around. There's actually a screw there and remove it. And then once you remove it, you can then take it out. Okay. Now what I want to do is. Um, Create a terminal on one end, one side here, another side there, and uh, allow me to clip on this uh, clip on adapter. Okay, see you see this uh, adapter here. We want to be able to clip this on one side and then the other. And you want to make it further away from each other as possible because you don't want to be electrocuted, right? So another uh, safety uh, thing that I did was that see this is what this is the wire I'm going to put in, and we're going to have to. Um, hot glue it into the plastic as well for on one end. So this is the positive and negative. I'm going to poke up to the battery and this will lead to the terminal uh, end, right? So we're going to do that. I'm going to show you right now how to do it. And then we're going to put this one side on this here and then on the other side we put the other terminal on the other side. And notice I have this safety um, um, twister. It's actually used for elect uh, electrical outlet, uh, you know, in your air um, light socket when you um, install one in your house so I use this. It's very uh, pretty cool um, useful uh, little gadget right so you can screw it in it's tight it's safe there's a you know no, no open uh, wire so whenever you want to use it you untwist it and then just clip on the clip on adapter car plug and there we go we're done let see and then you can start charging All right. okay I'll show you now how to install one. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a hole here and place this wire that I just made, right, and put it in outside, right, and I'm going to hot glue it so it's secure onto the plastic. And then one of the end of the wire will then be hooked up to the end of the battery terminal here. Right, just be careful, don't electrocute yourself. Make sure you use. Uh, uh, know all the safety precautions. In other words, do not touch both terminal. Um, avoid that and 
by, for example, uh, what you want to do is block one of the terminal with neither um, uh, uh, good insulator tape so that you for sure won't be able to touch the other side until when you're ready, then you uh, are ready for the other terminal, then you um, un untape it and then, then uh, hooked up the other terminal to the other side, okay? So let's get started. So let me drill the hole now. Okay, so I'm going to drill right in here and uh, going right through. Oops. Very good. Okay, I don't know if you can see the hole here. There it is. Uh, I had to drill a small bit to to a larger bit. So you know, use a small one first, drill a little hole, and then draw drill drill a bigger one. Okay, so let's put the one of the terminal end in here. Okay, you can slide it in. Okay, let's see. You gotta locate it where it is. There we go. It's straight about here. Uh, and I see it sticking out. You can see that it's sticking out. Okay, when well, you want to pull it over a bit, so that's about right. Okay, just enough so that you can actually screw this uh, twister, plastic twister, in there like this. Now what we want to do is once you know that it's about right, you want to hot glue here. Okay, so secure it in all front and also on the other side as well, and then. You can keep it like that. Okay, so you have one terminal here. And I'm going to put this to one of the side. Now you might want to label this. Please do put a uh, positive if it's a positive terminal, a negative if it's a negative terminal, just in case you forget. All right. Okay, so the next step, what we're going to do is we're going to solder in one of the terminal. So make sure you label it. So this is a positive terminal. We're going to solder it in. Okay. So secure it. Make sure do not for any reason touch the terminal with your bare hand. You always use some kind of insulator like this thing here. It has even though it has metal part, long screwdriver. It has a, a plastic here so it'll protect me from live uh, wire. Okay, so just make sure. Even though I'm just working on one end, always uh, be uh, cautious and safety is always first. Okay, now we're gonna. Ha uh, solder in. Now we're going to try to solder in now. Okay. Just make sure you take your time with this one. I'm not the best solid guy in the world, but uh, you know, just do your best to get it security in Make sure you do not touch the end of the hot solder. You will burn. I have burned my hand before. Okay, keep it away from your skin. You get a second or third degree burn. Okay, now we're gonna drill the other side, but I noticed that there is a uh, electronic component that's in the way. So we need to unscrew that first. And remove it out of the way so we can drill in the other terminal. Be careful, remember, these are uh, sensitive diodes and all that, so maybe, you know, short-circuit it. So you be careful not to touch any of it. Uh, the conductive side, anyway. Okay, so I remove it out of the way. I'm going to drill on the other side. Okay, so I'm going to drill on this side. And creating the negative terminal on this side. I don't have to be negative on this side, but again, if you made the other one positive, this is going to be negative. Okay. 
Okay, good. Let's, okay, so we're ready to install the other terminal. So we're going to unscrew the uh, knob, plastic knob that keeps this end terminal safe. So I'm going to place it inwards. Okay, and be careful not to touch any of the electronic components. And push it through. Uh, you might have to drill a bigger hole, but we'll see. Should be big enough. I think it's just because I put a lot of um plastic. Let me see. See, I too much plastic wrapping around this piece of um, terminal. So let's unwrap that. Okay, so I managed to pull it through. Now just make sure the um, the safety twister knob can be placed properly and what we're going to do is going to hot glue on this side as well again make sure you label this as a negative terminal since you did the other side as positive terminal okay, you notice I'm now labeling my positive terminal just in case I forget now you want to do it here as well as on the plastic itself of the rechargeable spotlight so I need to get some kind of tape to tape it here and label it positive Okay, before you put it, everything together, put the screw in. Just make sure you test the terminal first. So I'm going to test it right now. Put the positive in. I already did for the negative. And it's working. Awesome. Okay, then don't forget to screw the safety um, knob in there. All right, you don't want to be touching that as well as the other side. Now what I'm going to do is going to hot glue it. Okay. Make sure you test also the spotlight uh, buttons are working properly. So it's working good. Okay. All right, so this device is finished. This is the rechargeable spotlight I modified and created. Okay, so you can see the terminal positive side. And then the negative terminal on this side, notice, is protected by a plastic knob. Um, it is not only a light, very bright 35 watt light. It is also a rechargeable uh, device as well. You can recharge your, uh, like I show you, the smartphone. A quick charger actually. It's, uh, you can charge your smartphone in about an hour and a half to two hours. Uh, on a go. So if you're in camping, this is a great device to have. Not only is it a flashlight, very powerful one, it's also rechargeable. And on top of that, it can also power up your, it's powerful enough actually, to power up your um, pump that uses the uh, the car adapter right here. I'll show you. Where is it? See? All right. So, uh, you know, I bought a device at uh, the at the hardware store and even though you can plug to AC it didn't work but this device actually allows you to do that alright so there we go okay alright we're now gonna use my rechargeable spotlight to uh, power and pump my um, tire bike so this is the um, pump that uses the car adapter okay so we're now gonna plug it in Notice the terminal is already plugged in, positive, negative, and just turn it on. 